but this then raises the question i mean what does motivate zionism and what does motivate the uh the continued establishment of israel as a state and i'm wondering so one that comes to mind naturally is there is a religious element there has been a religious element that this land is divinely ordained and and meant for the jews then there is the historical and genealogical development because jews can cite their historical claims to this land and that they populated it for a significant period of time and then of course there's the holocaust and the anti-semitism that jews experienced outside of israel for hundreds of years thousands of years prior to uh, 1948 and i'm wondering how you weigh these three uh, motivations for zionism and justifications of the israeli state uh, both historically as a motivation for zionism and then today okay um Jews, over the 2,000 years in which they were in exile, in other words, the first, basically the first and second millenniums AD, um, in some way, in prayers, um, in, in their thoughts, in their psyche, talked about returning to their origins, which was the land of Israel. The land of Israel, which is uh, named uh, among uh, Christians and remains today the main name of the, the area, uh, Palestine um, was the land inhabited by the Jews between 1200 uh, BC and uh, the first uh, second centuries AD. In other words, for the 13, 1400 years, was um, mostly inhabited by Jews and ruled periodically during these 1400 years by uh, Jewish um, uh, sovereigns, uh, uh, kings, and then whatever. Um, uh, Romans came along. Uh, conquered the land, the Jews rebelled against the Romans, eventually um, expelling some of the population, others drifted off, uh, others were converted to Islam when the Muslims conquered the land in the 7th century, uh, but most Jews were in the diaspora by the middle or the certainly towards the end of the first millennium, and as I say, thought about returning to the land, um, uh, at least in their prayers and in their minds, and regaining Jewish sovereignty. Um, so that was a sort of a religious historical uh, motivation for Zionism. To this was added in the 19th century, the growth of nationalism in Europe, where the Jews were mostly concentrated. Um, uh, Czech, Czechs wanted independence. Pal uh, Pol Poles wanted independence. Slovaks, uh, Serbians, they all wanted independence and uh, produced Ideology, nationalist ideologies and um, um, uh, nationalist movements uh, desiring sovereignty in their own land, not to be occupied by the Russians or the Austro-Hungarians or the Germans. Yeah? Um, uh, this affected the Jews who lived in these countries um, in two ways. The, the nationalism of the various peoples in Eastern and Central Europe affected them in the sense of um, uh, copying. In other words, uh, if these Serbs and these Czechs and these uh, Poles want independence and to be sovereigns over their own land, why shouldn't we Jews also want to be sovereigns uh, in, in our own land? Uh, um, and this is what uh, Zionism preached, uh, returning to the country of our origin, where Judaism was born, where the Jewish people, in effect, were born, and regaining sovereignty there. This was one part of it. The other part is that the nationalism in Eastern Europe and Central Europe also had a very xenophobic character. And Serbs didn't like, uh, I don't know, didn't like uh, Slovenes and Czechs didn't like uh, um, uh, Germans and uh, Poles didn't like Russians or Germans. Uh, there was a lot of xenophobia there. And among the people they didn't like were the Jews. In other words, the nationalism of the 19th century bred a lot of anti-Semitism. 
hatred of the Jews, and eventually also pogroms and killing of Jews. This was especially true in the Tsarist Empire, in the area ruled by Russia in Eastern Europe. And their, their Zionism began with a desire, as I say, because of the historic ties and some religious connection, um, Zionism began there. People began thinking about returning to Zion and there reestablishing a state, also to flee from these anti-Semitic Gentiles among whom they lived. And this, of course, uh, culminated in the Holocaust in which Germany uh, and its uh, helpers, who included a lot of Eastern Europeans, Ukrainians and Poles and Romanians, but also Western Europeans in France and uh, Holland and so on, um, uh, this brought to a head and, if you like, gave full justification for the aspiration of the Zionists um, to establish a state of their own where they would be safe and uh, secure uh, from anti-Semitic um, murderers, basically. Mm. And these were the, the motivations of Zionism at the end of the 19th century and the first half of the 20th century. <laughs> 